Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast with me, host and Pearl Dane, the one and only master propaganda here of like Defender of the Fatherland. Off here, 2AE, 1v1 on Pekino's Tailmate. In the northwest, you have Havoc fighting here for America, freedom, democracy here with the 1st Infantry Division. With Advanced Infantry, Environment Battle Group, and Able Battle Group supporting it. Southeast, we have Dumais fighting for Deutschland, Germany, Das Vaterland. Here with the 15th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. With mechanized Luftwaffe and Italian Coastal Battle Groups. We've got Sandbags and Bartwell here going up here for Dumais as rapidly as he can put it up. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued and generous support of the Propaganda Cast. And a big hearty thanks to keep commenting, liking on my videos, helps out immensely with the YouTube algorithms. Sandbags says, well, bit of thorough work there. Always, you know, good idea to lay down Sandbags around crucial points like this. And of course, laying down a bit about why your opponent can't necessarily use it against you is, of course, another good thing to do there. Troll parties MT42. The troll pioneers start definitely very common with the Wehrmacht players, especially versus the USF, since if they go for Jeeps, your pioneers are going to be less bothered by that, basically, than the Kettenkrad. Plus, they do provide a bit more firepower and utility in longer games compared to the Kettenkrad. Rob Squatming 40, Havoc clearly looking to over here put the squeeze on Dumais. Rushing here, occupying the church to get a good bit of line of sight around here before making possible move here towards the fuel point. In this case, he decides not to, interestingly enough. Pioneers take Norfords here. Scout's busy there, second Rob Squat there for Havoc. Otherwise, there she goes. No Belgrade for other play yet. They are both being a bit, you know, uh, waiting there. Not quite committing to anything. Dumais swung up with some Grenadiers, some standard German infantry here. Machining give out there, covering up the fuel point here. Hammock now making the move for it. This time, the note he's not scouting. Perhaps his uh, Hammock sense is tingling, or perhaps something else is tingling, and he decides to not go straight for it. Up north, we've got Pioneers as the scouts here. Shots being fired here in the dark. Pioneers closing in the MP40s, blasting at the scouts. Grenadiers ready here. We can see they have it going for the southern cutoff point here. Dumais has the other one there. So this is actually a pretty good move there by Havoc. Perhaps even figuring he can do that now that he's the other cutoff point hasn't been secured. And this means Dumais is going to lose his fuel point. He doesn't need to, like, you know, defend, push there. So that's a smart play there by Havoc. Thumbs up, very strong here. Third rafts on the way there, by the way, going for more infantry. Scouts as a pioneer is here. Now we got Dumais kind of attacking machine joining in, but the track here does provide ample cover from the machine gun, so he can't get suppressed. That forces the pioneers, the grenades, to close in here. Pioneers taking losses there. Down to two men here. Granny's now closing in. Rifleman are still taking a lot of damage. And there we go. Pioneers almost getting wiped out here. Close call there for Dumais. Rav's got finally pushed away. We got the medical station. And now, of course, with Hammock Course being drawn, all of Dumais' attention towards the cutoff point. He then makes the flank. Though here, Dumais still has enough time to react to this. Shout reaction time caused here by Dumais. Second gun is on the way here. Rav's got moving up there as well. One squad of gentlemen is suppressed by the md 2 and its intense rate of fire. And now, of course, Dumais has Mercer's resources, by the way, as this is going on, cut off. So this is just really good play here for Havoc. That long, you just keep Dumais, because I'm now focused around here, they're better, because even if he doesn't get the fuel point, Dumais isn't getting any resources out of it. So that's like a big resource advantage here that Havoc is generating. You can see that Dumais, of course, is realizing this, is dispatching forces northwards, even as he's fighting here to get things going around the center south as well there. We got two grenadiers, one in for two triple pioneers here for Dumais versus having the two scouts, three rav squads. And we got that new support center with the captain soon on the way there. Grenadiers, pioneers counter attacking here. Rav squad they're pushing. Havoc clearly looking to buy as much time as possible, but could out send here. Doesn't so. Rav squad falling back there as well. Pioneers grab the card off here as well. So now you soon have both secured. All victory points might fall into the hands here of Havoc meanwhile. So he's bleeding up to Mace, so for some reason again is this again. Hopefully they can resolve this for the upcoming um, patch here at the end of February. Hopefully they'll also have some interesting news as to what's going to come. Because apparently they do mention like the production team, so that should indicate like, you know, future battle groups. And who knows what else. Maybe they're going to announce an expansion, I don't know. Probably not an expansion this early, but then again, might be a good idea to start like, at least hinting that up, I don't know. So, Luf have a company for Dumais, fairly standard, not what I prefer, personally I'm more of a Panzergrenier company man, I do get why Luftwaffe is more popular, it's just a bit more flexible, even if it doesn't necessarily have in some regards the same firepower, but it is just more flexible, which obviously makes it more popular. 
Plus the Aegis are just, again, just more all-rounders compared to the Panzer Grenadiers. Smoke the party by having to shut out the machine gun. Thumbs up, they're very good play. And now Dumais Grenadiers are in a dangerous situation here. They could get wiped out by the riflemen pouring through the empty streets of Bikini. Well, not two empty streets now. And we got, there we go, Jaegers for Dumais Grenadiers. It looks like they narrowly managed to escape here the wrath of democracy. Southern points being seized for the pioneers. The shooting event setting up. Ralph's court popping to the church here. North side, Dumais is busy. Ralph's court, they're following up. We got the mortar there for Havoc. Good old mortar team. Fun fact, studies by uh, the Western armies found that after the war, most of the casualties from World War II were actually from shrapnel. That is from mortar bombs, grenades and whatnot. Basically artillery. Fun fact. Jaegers moving forward here. North here, we got Ralph Scott meaning to catch the gun here by the Northern Victory Point Munitions Point here. Dumais again trying to push for that fuel point, but Havoc is having none of it. Goddamn Kratz, get off of our fuel! It's the lifeblood of democracy! Isn't that freedom? No. Nope. Then he's going for the cutoff point, Jaeger's closing in with the G43s, the Gewehr 43, which was basically based off the Soviet SVT 40 semi automatic rifle, as a fun fact. Luffa for company there, standing ready, cut off on being seized again. Really good plays here by Havoc. Confirm. Good, aggressive, driven. Mechanized here for Dumais. Got the mortar joining there as well. Jaeger's closing up. Go to pool there for Havoc. Still no bad drop there for Havoc. Jaeger's closing in with the church here. Panzer attacks on the way. They're clearly anticipating the motor pool and the grounds here for Havoc. Very much to be expected since the USF meta very much is just built around rushing out Greyhounds. You may still see some going for like fast bars, but the vast majority of USF players at the moment will just push for the fastest Greyhound they can possibly imagine. Manage, not imagine. I've even seen some get them at like the five minute mark with Armored Battle Group, which is like really fast. Funny thing with Rouse Court there. In the center, we've got Grenadiers versus the captain there. Mortified still having down the church. or oh, the victory point. A fuel point there by the church. All troops pouring in in the south. Scots and Ralph Scores there pressing southwards. Also, not again the harassment on the southern fuel point there. Again, good harassment there by Hammock. Doing their best to slow down the war machine here of Dumais and Deutschland. Scouts here trying to do something in the machine crew here. Grenadiers, Pioneers close again, forcing away the Scouts. And there go Akhtar here out for Dumais. I mean, Dumais, of course, a bit of a faster heavy armored car here than Havoc in this case can manage. He is going for an anti tank gun, though. We have lost this might be just more based off his experience playing with Dumais and probably feeling that Dumais is going to go for the Arctard here. Of course, he might be expecting something else. I mean, he's up against Jaegers, so again, it could also be like, you know, fast armored cars with the 2 to 1 kind. Or, you know, even like a fast Vibrovin. So, it does kind of make sense to bring out an anti tank gun. But it could also just be, again, because they do play against each other a bunch. So, again, that might be a bit of, like, you know, common experience there from the players that way. Like, for example, if, like, someone knows they're playing against me a lot, they might prepare for Stukes pretty fast. As an example. Grenades here in the Arctic. Starting up the crew. Dumais, they're not a bit more on the offensive. Again, the Arctic, they're really providing him with a strong shock element here versus Havoc. With its glorious 2cm auto cannon and cracked machine gun there. And, of course, it's... Four or eight wheels there. North Eagle is in the cutoff point there. So there you go, Rockham closing in. BIRs now for Havoc, so anti tank guns into BIRs here. Interesting choice there by Havoc. I would have figured maybe like the Greyhound now, or maybe a Chaffee, but Havoc here seems to be uh, going his own way, which of course is not necessarily a bad thing. It's always a little, a little more interesting. Mine there. Black 30 there for Dumais. Bringing in the Pioneers. And they're going forward to the rescue for the Pioneers and, of course, the heavy armored car. Also, a brief explaining here for those wondering, what is this? This is actually just added spaced armor to help protect the frontal armor of the armored car. Fun fact. Basically, again, provides a bit of extra frontal armor there. Plus, the spacing means, like, you know, that the shot may penetrate, then loses a bit, and then before hitting the next set of armor plating. Again, it can provide a bit of, you know, extra protection that way as well. Not a lot, but, you know, still a bit. Flak 30, they're almost done. Understood. 
Requisitioning Jaeger light infantry. And there we go. Ultra Tran forgot someone's going to need some more Jaegers. Thumbs up there to Dumais. Flak 30 out there. The Flieger up there, Kanone. Or Flugzeug up there, Kanone. Leitzig. And second Jaeger squad out here for Dumais. Out there, prone to the center. Scouts camping there, spotted in the town square. Jaegers here looking to flank around. More today, hammering down here upon the position of the German troops. As Dumais gets ready to push forwards. Flak further there being hold forward ready to reenact Saving Proud Ryan. Yes, that is the exact gun there from Saving Proud Ryan. Jaeger flanking around here. Captain there, scout taking heavy losses. The flame for is definitely burning through the rooms and burning down the house. Jaeger's got that flank around here. Still no battle group for Havoc. Scouts, they could be in trouble. Rav Squad closing in. There you go, the scout, the scouts for the Jaeger's. Rav Squad pouring in. Akka there dashing in. Flak further supporting here. Ripping into the Americans. Grenades and the armored car. Damn it in the end. And there you go. And second finishing off here. Good work by Havoc. Catching in over confident Dumais and punishing him. So that was very strong there by Havoc. Dumais flag 30 falling back here towards the shrubberies. And there we go. We actually got here now a 11 minute pick here of advanced infantry into Rangius. Interesting choice here by Havoc. Not necessarily wrong, but definitely not something I'm seeing too much of. Advanced logistics, of course, great with all this infantry, in particular with the Rangers, makes them cheaper to reinforce. It is a very powerful upgrade. In particular, since most of these otherwise, like, you know, chop with like reinforcements being cheaper thing, until part of battle groups, so you can't get them with whatever you want. But with this one, you can pretty much just pick it, like, with any battle group, whatever elite infantry you got going. Also got ammunition storage, howitzers, Panzer Glenier Company, and support elements at the same time for Dumais. An interesting pick there. I'm not entirely sure what the game plan is from Dumais. Then he's using retreating rifle. Oh, oh, retreating best of the rifle. Got grenades on as well here. Like Fed setting up against Ralph Squad here. Close to the cutoff. The Panzerkanier Company almost done. Ralph Squad being hit by the Flak 30. Pioneers closing in with our Flamini Alphas. Sender falling into the Pioneers, Jaegers, and more Pioneers holes in the way. Far flank here again. Bit more harassment going on there. Both players very active and crucially, as you may notice, they're never like like really over focusing on any point of the map. They're always like in looking for a new spot to exploit there. Really solid play there, thumbs up. Like 30 Jaegers, MB42 team all converging towards the north side here. We're still leaving some smaller forces here. Also mining here as all this going. Really good like management skills there by Demaze. It's like doing so many things at the same time. Mining, securing points, converging forces to like you know counter havocs cheeky American maneuvers. Chaffee there now for Havoc. Interesting pick for the Chaffee now. Territory sector lost. More mines there from Dumais. Rangers coming forwards and straight to the mine there. Half the Rangers scored gone in the blink of an eye. That is amazing value there for Dumais. Make no mistake, that's 30 munitions and a lot of manpower gone there. Obviously, advanced logistics means the casualties are a little less expensive, but still... That is just, you know, notably less effective range squad. Up north, it do Havoc Force to retreat here as Dumais and the 15th Panzer Gunner Shun lay claim to the north for the Fatherland. And we got a neat left for Dumais to counter the mortars and the anti tank and probably hit some infantry. Not entirely sure I'd go for the neat left for here personally, but then again, I've never been a big fan of the neat left for myself. Always find it to be a bit too whiffy. Plus, kind of gives away his you know, shtick a bit too fast. Mortar there, though, hammering away. Chaffee out there for Havoc. Freedom and Democracy. Pioneers is Rath in the center. Need to have almost done. You have three command points at your disposal. Jaeger's pushing south. It's not great for them. There you go. Captain Amusing losing Jenkins there to the Jaegers and their G-43s. Got the Nebel Leffer ready. Machine gun holding up here. Chaffee's rushing in, getting Guineas on the way as well there for Havoc. I'm just going to be necessary both with A, all the mines that Dumais is dying to lay down. But of course also in repairing the Chaffee, so thumbs up to Dumais. Brown Squad straight to the enemy for two, getting hammered here. And of course, Dumais already has mines for his I mean, obviously Havoc is yet to bring out Engineers. Obviously, we can't relay down mines unless it goes for that specific upgrade, but still, 
do a mage just does it because that's something to do. There you go, rangers again, another mine and another three rangers dead. This raid turns into like the Salerno of rangers on just the mines alone. Got the Neva Barrage here, going for that mortar, catch him retreating mana troops are lighting up the night here. With heavy incendiary rockets. Back here's reinforcement healing there for Dumais. Actually, does he have healing here? Oh, he does, he does. Craft squadron 48 is quickly docking into cover. Black fur to catch around, they're doing heavy damage. And now they got panzer guns here for Dumais. Interesting, I've definitely seen some places down to like mix Luthuf and uh, Panzergrenade companies more and more as of late. It used to be not so common, but there's definitely like more people get mixing up Jaegers and Panzergrenades in some like form or the other. They're not so much going for the Panzer Company, though increasingly because it's just too expensive against the USF economy in particular. Well, let me see what they do They It might be worth to just slow the cost of the Panzer Company now that they made it so you can't like just skip tier 2 to go for tier 3 there. Of course, we'll not really do that, it's another matter. Chaff are charging in here. Pioneers are putting up Brave Fuck for the Fatherland, but they are very much outgunned here. No measure there from Havoc, as expected. In the south here, we got Rafa Moon in, we got supply drops here for the Ranger Squad. German infantry looking to occupy the eastern side of Bikino just a bit here. Machine guns, Panzer guns being forwards. Nibla hanging back here in the south. Fighting is intense. More miles from Dumais. And again, Really good money there from the base. Grenades off here. Need for fire. On the center. Scouts and chaff with getting hammered here. And got flame for some bazookas there. Like he's gonna grab the flame for, I believe, the bazooka for someone else to pick up there. Closing with the flame for, then the BIRs against the Panzer Gunner dealer. Ralph got moving in the sorts of assist. Nope, splits off here. From to what? Both gangs are pressed. Easy with the machine, also the bun grenade. Still gets suppressed though. Airburst shells and MD42 for the mortar team. Almost got it there. Again, airburst shells, very powerful stuff. I don't know if the Americans that did have airburst shells for the mortars. I know the Germans did, though. And it's simply by, um, rather by doing a little trick with the mortar, but they added a slight small charge to the tip of the mortar bomb, so it hit it, the ground, then bounce up, then explode. Fun fact. Like photo car in the center, punch the being pushed back. Up north here, Yeggs pushing back in your near squad here. Havoc though, it's starting to lose more and more ground here. Against a maze who's definitely starting to pick up steam here. With this mix of various advanced infantry squads or heavy infantry squads. An officer is being installed for our Panzer Grenadier Company. Plus support by the Flak 30 and the Nebel. He's going for the officer quarters for the Panzer Grenadier Company. Not the Luf of one, interestingly enough. Come on, punch. Does suspect here that I do suspect I mean that um Dumais is likely playing for a panther now. We got a ground there for Havoc. Back 30 setting up. The enemy have taken our there you go. Yig is moving after the chaff through there. But are quickly being evicted from the premises of the Rangers with a flamethrower. Neva of the Barrow straight to the base here. Oh, there from Dumais. Okay, apparently some of the rockets were significantly delayed there. And now he's delaying reinforcements. Mine goes off again. Just again, notice all these casualties that Dumais is inflicting thanks to these mines. Like, that's several mines that he's taking out, like, you know, half an infantry squad. That's really good. Sounds out here, Punish as the captain. Punish on the fire from the Chaffee. MD42 teaming up as well here. Good shot there from the Patrick. Straight for the side on with the Chaffee. Further south here. Captain forcing off the Pioneers. Panzer's moving up here through the river. And Captain quickly calling artillery on the machine gun team. Rangers flanking in. As Pioneers are creeping forwards. A lot of action in there. Go Captain spotted by the Panzer Gunner dealer. Dumay still floating resources. Not getting like anything new here. Could go for Stu's, go for the Beeble Bins. Could take up. Okay, there go. He's actually going for the Panzer Company in there. Okay, I was. Kind of not expecting that. Like nowadays, you're seeing like a banger player, like, you know, go for all three buildings is like, you know, exceedingly rare. Captain White, but it was replaced here by Havoc. 
Black Friday there, ripping into the advancing American troops into the main street here. Up north here, Havoc's grabbing the ports as well. Very good. And he's giving here to Maze a lot of trouble around his cutoff. Or his fuel point there. Although the Flak 30 is doing good work. It is now Veterans 1. Panzer Company halfway done. Tank there but they for Havoc. Both sides going for tanks now. Some medium man ones that is. Thumbs up. And there you go. Grand going for flank. We got Jaegers covering the Flak 30 there. Nice Ted up there tactically by Demaze. More than points falling into the Americans. Got a lot of mines going off there. I think the Rangers hit another mine there by the sound of things. Someone did somewhere. And there you go. Panzer Company ready here. Could go for the Panzer Floor. Could go for some stars to them already now. I think he's intending to go for a Panzer Floor or maybe a Storm Panzer Floor. He goes to the Ralph Squad. South Air Machine versus the Ralph Squad. He is flanking in. Mortar Fathers laying down the MD 32. Hammock there already on point with his mortar. And we do get some stars from there for Demaze. Two thumbs up. They are hammering up. The more stars the from the better is my motto. The more the better. Mortar there being pushed back here with the Nibla for Demaze on point with his rocket artillery. He's fearless. Ruthless. There you go, starts to mount. Quick with enemy for a bunch of G43s. Hardened assault infantry. Bring on there. Engaging the pioneers. Can soon set up for the panther. It also means having oh, Dumay's got like five squads now. We got one star storm squad, the Panzers, the two Jaegers, and the Grenadiers. That's quite the size of the infantry force here for Dumay's. Havoc's got Fimfin squads, a bunch of scouts, and the captain though. The enemy has taken a victory point. And we got Havoc there sneaking behind Dumay's front line to go for the fuel point right next to his base. Pretty cheeky stuff there. And there you go Greyhound as the Flak 30. Got that Flak there. Shredding the arm of the Greyhound, but now Flak 30 is exposed and not too well supported here, actually. Still, Dumais can actually start getting ready for the Panther. Goes for a Panther 4 instead here, actually. I mean, that's fine too, I suppose. Flak wiped here, smoke deployed. I definitely would have expected, like, just, you know, the um, Panther here, actually. Since like you're saving up so many command points, I also could like to use for fuel siege and other abilities to like maybe provide some different kinds of abilities and support here for Dumais. Another need for barrage. Maybe a misclick here, or he had some other plan in mind. Hard to say here. Pantafall is right around that corner here for Dumais. And Deutschland. Up north here, Grand Strike in the Gunnadiers. Black Freddy got destroyed there, by, of course, by Havoc. Starstorm up here, hiding from the Greyhound. And now we got here Dumais Panzer for ready. And we got a Hunter Farm Germany for Havoc. And the center ponies from Fortune of the Chaffee here. And we got Jaeger's ponies from further assist here. Up north here, range and trouble. We got Grenadier, Starstorm, and now the Panther 4. Bang down upon the Rangers. Slow health here. We could see a YP on Havoc's Rangers. They're running. The Panther 4 hot on their heels. It's unloading every shot into their backs. Sector now under enemy control. But Chaffee there, I think, is going to block that easy retreat. There good double anti tank and both shots penetrating here. Need to get the Panther 5. We do get smoke here, courtesy of Ray Tactics. Captain there, force back. And of all, the will need some heavy repairs. Of course, for this, Dumais does have triple pioneer squads. The enemy has 300 points remaining. And there you go, spotting scopes, mechanized assault, and the Vespa. What are your orders? Posey quickly planning a Vespa here versus Havoc. Not have to see. Straight to another mine there from Dumais again. Amazing work with all those mines here by the maze. Amazing work. 
Jaeger's pushed back there. Sherman rolling forward here. Pack forward there for Dumais. Quite the mixed force here from various tiers, actually. And there goes Sherman as the Jaegers. Punches moving up here, trying to flank around here, but the Sherman's already spotted them. Panda 4, though, moving into the rescue here. Oh, Sherman exposed right to the Panda 4. This is great here for Dumais. If it hits, she does not. That 40 almost done here. Star Storm right here from up north, having a nasty encounter with the Greyhound. Would have been very bad if it made to lose a Star Storm squad to that. That would have been a quite expensive loss. Park deployed. Pack ready. Dumais, of course, could consider us either the officer's quarters or the armored side squads here from the Panzer Company. Of course, I'm seeing pigs here. But also go for Vesper here. I mean, if you can spot the entertainment, start hammering that with artillery. That could be pretty good there for Dumais. I think, meanwhile, we're still not seeing much further this battle group. No attempt at Howard said, though, of course, it does have the 155mm rapid artillery barrage. Good shot there. Jaeger's almost wiped out. They quickly forced to retreat here. Pandaful breaking through one of the church walls here. But we got instincts to thank him. They're doing immense damage fast. Pandaful pushed back. Smoke the quad again. Further south here. Pants coming up here. And we got even further south than Pioneers. But the fighting is definitely not getting more and more focused on the center. Even though we are seeing action on the flanks. Match is definitely getting more and more drawn in there. And for need repairs again, Grandia starts on the move here. Steady force advance here from Dumais. Rangers there though, taking a lot of damage already down to less than, well, a fraction of their initial health count here. Starts from punch pushing forwards here, an amazing assault force here out of Dumais. Cutting the way here through Havoc's forces like a hot knife through butter. North here, Rascal held down here, we got grenades in the stars from the south. There's so much action going on, it can be tricky to keep up. Meanwhile, Hammock getting ready for a push up north here. Check Greyhounds, Sherman's heading north at sea. Could go for the Vesper, could go for another Pantherfall soon. Could of course also go for Panthers. We'll have to see, of course, what he decides upon. Pantherfall need repairs once more, though. We got those stars from them again. Big north is for the Sherman. Seeing the Jaeg is there, nice shot. Got the Neva for now, I bet you too, actually. Again, bombarding you, Havoc Space. Almost got the medical station. Oh, there we go. You actually did get the medical station. Hellcats on the way for Havoc. And we got this Star Storm here spotting the mortar crew and immediately getting to work there. Laying down a barrage of lead and German insults. Ray and the counter-attacking, Jaegers bring up towards and secure the center there amidst the rubble and ruin. Far south, we still got those pioneers bring about. We again got mines in from Dumais. Even as he's doing all this other stuff, he still manages to lay down mines all over the place here. Thumbs up to that. And we finally got some armored targets in for Dumais. Very good. Should make his panda four a bit tougher overall. Definitely not a bad idea. Ring just thinking about here. Vetchy 2. Bars and flamethrowers. Got the green wing from the north. Panda 4. This armor side skirts upgrade the is ready. The enemy have 250 points left. And our mine goes off somewhere. Oh, they're on the victory point. And they're about to hit another mine too. Green, they're going for the pioneers. Enemy forces have captured Good. Yeah, that's point. likely going to be a wipe here for Dumais. Unless he gets exceptionally lucky. Have it gets exceptionally lucky. Green hitting a mine there. Engine damage. Pioneers, the wipe is expected here. Panda Force moving in. Clad with extra armor playing there on the sides. Rangers in the fire here. Jaeger's pushed off. Further up north here, machine guns. Pioneers closing in. Going in hard. He clearly wants to take out that Greyhound if he can get rid of it. Can't fault uh, Dumais for that. Quite the opposite. Could go for another Panda Force now. Mine's further going off here. Greyhound being mauled. Got the engineers trying to repair the Greyhound here. Almost got it. He actually survives the hit despite the mine hit. And there you go. Anti-Tank is engaging here. 
could cause some heat. It needs to he deploy smoke here, but now we got the Hellcat coming up. Oh, Chaffee moving up behind the Panther. The Hellcat came from the other side here. Dumais went awfully deep in with that Panther 4, and he's going to lose it now here. Back to port. Understand the time to get the Grey Hump in the end. Without much additional support here, it could ever see get isolated and dealt with quite easily. Yeah, because they're pushing forward. Starts support wiping here. Havoc's Mortar finally. That's a small win there for Dumais, but not quite one that compensates for the loss of his Panzer. There you go. Panther's ready. And got some support here for the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division. Range of Shrapen contact. Oh, and the Star Storm go down to a mine. Havoc gets his revenge after all those mines and wipes Dumais Star Storm score with a mine. Massive blow there. That's going to be expensive there for Dumais. Expensive. Yeggs then getting the Sherman Pack 40 setting up here. We got Rifle charging and Ranger charging from all sides here. Panthers moving in here, crashing through the hedgerows there, going for that Sherman. Almost got the Sherman here, though. Rangers flanking the MD42 and the 100 Farming Sherman goes down further south here. Jaegers are keeping themselves space here, knocking out Havoc's Hellcat. Pack 40 about to go wiped out by the Rangers. Panthers then snipe some poor Ranger here. Do Maze definitely sounds more controlling versus Havoc. How will Havoc uh, recover from these losses? Because he lost a fair bit there to Dumaze. We still got the base getting hit here with an illiteral inferno of Nebula for rockets. Panzergun is at the ready. Panther moving towards the center, supported by the Pack 40. Southern so Port, they're falling to the Germans as well. Notice the map now is very much German. It's a bit of quiet here, as both sources are recuperating, and in this case, I think Domains is consolidating his gains. Definitely a bit of a chance now for Havoc. Bit of a challenge. Picks up his Greyhound. Chaffee, of course, needs repairs as well. Got another screen Ranger squad now here for Havoc. Bit late, but then again, with the Rangers, he just gets like instant match if you Rangers, so probably not going to matter too much. Could make things a bit tough here, though, for Dumais, of course. So going to have to face off against another Ranger Vetchy Fee squad there. On touch what happened there. Oh dear. That was close there. You almost lost the Rangers. Come on, Tosh, you're the Havoc Zone about here. And Dumais, pretty much just meaning he's just firing randomly at his opponent. Machine then from the Greyhound up north range, moving in it, clearing out their Dumais northern lines. Commanding his punch being dispatched to halt this Ranger influx here. Machine gun, has been destroyed. machine gun wiped out here. More Rangers moving up here, going for the center there. Rangers up north is going to be punch going to Oh, straight to mine though. No. One third of the, the squad gone, there was a single shot there. Victory and to tank and not moving into this, the Rangers against the Panther here. And the Rangers here are forced away there by Dumais counter attack. We even got a bunk grenade in the trade path. Hoping to get lucky, but Lady Luck is not with Dumais. And she's with Havoc. Much to the dismay of his wife. Up north, it can got the northern point. He grabbed the mission point as well there. Hellcat on the way there. Could try and grab the victory point. Dumais back to being bled out in victory points. Panther moving on the center. Storm Panzer 4 for Dumais. That is an interesting move here. Not one I would agree with, as I personally don't think the Sturm Panzer IV is very much worth it at all, but maybe Dumais can prove me wrong here. Range thing hits from the Panther. Anti things need to move up here. Dumais seemingly not in a rush for those victory points here. Maybe he's just beginning a bit stressed out with all that's going on there. Panther falling back. Sturm Panzer IV. Almost done there for Dumais and Deutschland. Rangers being sent north here, backed up with the Greyhound. The lack of any significant anti tank weapons could mean Dumais can't get first off. Forced off here. Panthers moving in. 
Sturmpanzer, dann Rangers again hitting another mine. Sturmpanzer 4 ready. Less than 100 points left here for Dumais versus Havoc. Wow, like just in a match of moments, like Havoc's just completely swung the game there in his favor again. Partly again, dude, he's just adding in more Rangers, I guess, but losing the Star Sword, amongst other things. And I think going for that Sturmpanzer rather than just more Panther Fools might also help a bit. Panther moving in, Storm Pants on the move. Sitting kill there. 72 points left here. Jaeger's got the center there away from the Americans with the first infantry division. Niebuhr is firing away. They're hoping to get lucky. Hax. Jaeger's Panthers coming the center in the south side. Panthers pushing for the southern victory point here. 67 versus 176. Trying to grab the machine there. Go quickly, force back. Can't have time set up. Sturmpanzer there being caught here by the Hellcats. They have to take it on the Chaffee. Dubase is going to lose it, I think, here. Mine goes... Was that a mine? That was just a massive explosion. Was this a Sturmpanzer doing all that damage? Not entirely sure what happened there. Panther engaging here. Sturmpanzer bouncing a shot. Hellcat down. We got 52 here. Versus 176. Panthers almost got the Chaffee, Antang's pushing through the smoke further south here, Rain is going for the Panzergrenadiere. We got 46 versus 176. Antang's being caught here by Dumais infantry. Sturmpanzer being fixed up. In the south here, Rain has got the point, we got 43 versus 176. He's almost got back a triple cap there, and Dumais, and Dumais I think can not afford that now. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. Man can also have been used to the stuff up. Probably just push the Sturmpanzer into the fight there. More than anything else right now. Ram being forced off. And there you go. 29 points. 26. Havoc got the triple capital domains again here. 20. Moving in the use of contest here. 17. 14. 11. 8. Havoc here, just doing everything can to block, and Dumais doing everything to get back, and with that, it is GG, game over, he lost there for Dumais, a victory for Havoc was really close, I mean, Dumais, I feel like, almost had it, but losing the stars to him, but I think also just trying to go for that Sturmpanzer 4, I think, kind of, you know, undercut him there, despite, oh, there was some great play, then, of course, just sneaking another Ranger score, you know, they definitely need to turn down those Rangers a bit, so, nice, great match, again, good use of mind, though, by Dumais, and, Nice to see, like, you know, some good, more broader use of the Wehrmacht rather than just sticking to the Luftwaffe company. And then that's it. So, like, two thumbs and amazing, at least on that account. So, there you go. Hope you got this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment, tell your friends, tell your family. And as always, you can support the Promonic cast by donating up to on Patreon. This is Imperial Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for the next episode. Bye, everyone.